You are listening to the Family of Tegeta podcast. Message from Neo, the unnameable one. Beloved ones of light, you are far more divine than you can comprehend. Let us take a journey back in timelessness where spirit moved in a frequency of awareness. Without the name of beginning, this force knew itself and no being has ever touched the unseen spirit that created all life. This frequency knew itself without plans. Without judgment. Without desire. Without becoming anything. Exploding into the ethers of nothingness it grew to be consciousness and the awareness became heightened. The movement covered a great space of timelessness that was unknown as light touched it. It became feeling, and each movement within the field it was creating, brought a ripple of something new. It expanded further and the power grew and it experienced itself in light with explosions of color and particles. The heat came and it reacted with more explosive power creating suns and pieces of beauty that would become stars. It felt. It knew. It was aware of the changes. Consciousness grew. But in this moment there was intention. The knowing of itself was undeniable. It moved forward and created fire and water from spirit. It had no name for spirit as it continued to explode into multiverses. It stopped and pondered awareness and life. It felt love. With intention and awareness, life desired to experience itself in every way possible. Its light shone brightly with the expression of Elohim. They lived. They were expressions of spirit. The forces of heat and rocks were formed into stars that were near suns. Color was expressed from spirit as it identified with itself. More beauty and high frequencies of tones were placed in an area that infinity would call the first souls. The Elohim. It knew no name. The expressions of Elohim had no name or form. They knew themselves as one. They moved and communicated in tones and color. They were of the divine essence of the Great Spirit. The created life had the power of the One. They created bodies from thought that was a gift from Spirit. They ventured out in body, through darkness and light. Through unlimited travel they found stars that were bright. They felt love and the Great Spirit felt them as part of itself. They were one and they understood. Pleiadians were the first beings to begin life on a star. Tegeta was the name that Earth knows now. To the souls that were created, there were no names. They looked with created eyes and felt emotions with crystal hearts. The Great Spirit lived within them and they grew in power and their own creative ability. Other stars were created and beings found one another. They loved as they became. The living essence that created all life traveled through timelessness on an infinite journey to know itself as oceans and mountains. It knew itself as animals and trees. It created cycles of life and seasons of change. It allowed free will as it observed without judgment and took no sides. It loved. In becoming life that would expand and reproduce themselves, the one became aspects of male and female. These aspects were expressed into the souls that would have bodies and children. And love breathed them and beat their heart. Spirit was everywhere and everything. The multiverses were ever-changing with more heat and light. Each being in all of creation carried this light of the One Spirit. The most powerful force of existence, thought you into being. You are an expression of God. The names are endless and Spirit does not choose. Each star, each world, each area on earth and each non-physical aspect has a name for the one source of all. For this reason, many Elohim races view life in oneness. If you are hearing this communication, you are part of God, Elako, the Divine. This quantum field is a living spirit that reacts and interacts with you. You cannot be alone as the love and power that holds the multiverses suspended in nothingness loves you. This infinite love cannot be destroyed. Remember your light as you take your next breath. Remember your Creator as you shift in the light that will gently hold you as your awareness becomes a new breath of God. En ikimai iya. 
I love you so. Neo.